I don't know what it is with this app, but it takes about five or ten seconds for it to figure out that you're trying to record audio into it as well. Hopefully you can hear audio now. Can you hear me now? Yes, you can. I love the fact that some people will still be saying, can't hear a word, can't hear a word. But yeah, there should be sound now. All right, so I don't want you to get confused about the video that I'm about to put up from Fuel Ventura. I'm actually in Lanzarote at the minute filming a video for next week. So I thought whilst I was here, I'd do a live. I was gonna do a live from Fuel Ventura last week, but it, um, it didn't work out because I, uh, I was feeling a little bit rubbish. But feeling a little bit better today. So <coughs> just that's a nut. We're gonna to walk towards Porta del Carmen, which is um, a popular place here in um, Lanzarote. The local time is um, 12 past seven, the exact same time um, in the UK. Do give the video a thumbs up, of course, it does help me out enormously. And um, yeah, we'll have a chat along the route, see what's going on. If you've never been here before, what it's like, all that kind of stuff, I'll just flip the camera around. I'm in a shopping like precinct at the minute, which is um, like really deserted up top. Like all the life is happening downstairs, but um, up top, it's all for sale and it's all shut down. So thanks to the mods as well helping me out on the live this evening. That Chinese in the background is amazing. Gary, yeah, I can smell the food. It's gorgeous down there. But I don't know why this is all closed off up here. But yeah, we'll catch the sunset. Of course, giving the video a thumbs up, it does help me out. There you go, we can still, the sun has just gone, probably, has it just gone down? Probably. I thought it actually set at half past seven. Annie Mullaney. Um, people will ask, no doubt, what the weather is like. It's been very hot today, 27, I think it peaked at 28 degrees. Uh, I team, can I meet you in Lanzarote? Well, yeah, come and say hello. Melissa Phillips, hello. Thanks for joining me on the live stream. It is a bit of a walk. It's a good hour or so, so hopefully you'll stay with me. People here on their holidays, I just see the EasyJet uh, flights coming in actually, because we're quite close to the airport. But hopefully it shouldn't buffer too much because I've already checked the signal and it looks good. Thank you, Hazel. I'm all right. Still feeling a little bit, to be honest. I know, sympathy. Gabby is not with me now. She's at home. In fact, I, I thought she would have been on the live chat. Right, so we're starting up at this part of Porto del Carmen. We're going to walk all the way down, all around the harbour, well, towards the harbour, not at the, sea, at the harbour. So let's go down these stairs. How's my baby boy? He's fine. I get photo updates, or I call them thump dates from the missus. <laughs> long promenade. Yes, it is a very long promenade. <coughs> that was perfectly timed. It's a shame it's not like a, an easy jet or Ryanair. There's a flame com uh, plane coming in. Whoa. Plane coming into land. The airport, um, when I landed actually, I was facing the opposite way. And I don't know about you, but if you ever fly regularly or fly ever, and you're coming into land and you don't see the runway or land and you're getting very close to the sea, you get very nervous, don't you? Uh, was it Bitten or something? They're kind of like the, the, the service that does all the Canary Islands, the little um, flight service that connects them all. Um, Sharp, I'm coming home tomorrow. Um, I've been here see, for a couple of days, actually. Amber Jewel, well, a lot of people call it Lanzarote, but I have to say, I've been very impressed. Last time I came to Lanzarote um, was probably around about 2010, and when I first came here, I did not like it. However, I've got a car this time and I've fully experienced the island which you'll be able to see next week and I actually think it's pretty good. The reason why people call it Lanzagrotti, I think, is obviously because of the volcanic landscape in the middle of the island. There's obviously volcanoes and some active um, areas of the island where actually the volcani volcano is still so hot that it can cook food. We can cook food on it. I know, it's crazy. 
Sophie, that's very kind of you to say. Was it from the back of another car? No, not this time. Tell you what though, these have been a godsend, literally going up and down the promenade, and um, they're fairly inexpensive, around about six euros for about 40 minutes. If it seems quiet, it is quiet this side. It will get very busy as we go round. But look, you can actually see in the distance another canary on in there, Fjord's Ventura. But yeah, if you come to um, Lanzarote and you're staying in this area, get one of those scooters. They're brilliant. They've got these all bike paths and that. And if you stay, as, as long as you stay on them, you won't get told off. Um, but it's... 20 past seven, still about 25 degrees though. That's nice. I'm sure I'll get the temperature asked a lot. It's about 25, 24, 25 degrees now. Some nice villas. Now during the route, it'll get quiet, it'll get busy, it'll get quiet, it'll get busy. So just bear that in mind. Um, Gavin, am I gonna do a room tour? Well, I'm gonna go, after I do the live, I'll do, um, I am going to do a room tour on the video that's coming up on um, Wednesday next week. You'll be able to see it. We're going to be stopping for any drinks, Eugene. Probably not if the wife's watching. It's pitch black here and it's so windy. Yeah, it's lovely and warm here. I know that's, um, it takes a little while to get me used to that because I've got a ring camera. I was checking in on um, Gabby, checking the home camera and pitch black and I was like wow I'm still in my shorts yeah actually you can watch the planes coming in from here actually by the time they get dark sunset is happening around about now so it will be pitch black in about 20 minutes I would have thought yeah I'm feeling all right it's freezing here Andy Mullaney don't say that Maybe I won't wear shorts coming back. People just coming in off the beach. Where's the strangest place you've stayed? The strangest place I've stayed is definitely a video that's actually coming up very soon. Bodmin Jail. Um, I'm staying in... I have no... I can't even... I can't even say the name of the apartments, but it was very cheap. I will show you in the video that's coming up next week. Definitely don't wear shorts. It's 14 degrees in Norwich. Thanks, David. David NM, David NW. Melissa Phillips, hello in America. Hope you're doing okay. Do you know what? You don't get many Americans come to the Canary Islands. I know it's a little bit of a trek because there's no direct flights. You kind of have to, we'll probably go either to Spain or the UK and connect. Hello, Helen. Hope you're doing all right. Frosty Gaming. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Tracy's auntie lives in Lanzarote. I'll do a shout out for Lee and Paula. Do you know what? I've heard a lot of German people. A lot of Germans here. Still heard English, but it's obviously mostly German, actually, I'd have to say. Love the landing into Lanzarote. I've been there so many times. The National Park is great. It is. Hello from a cold Edinburgh. Hello to Alan. Sally is, <coughs> is here. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Laura. Don't worry, it's going to get a lot busier in a minute. I team, shout me out, just did. There's a lonely lifeguard chair just randomly sitting there. Do you know, they do actually rake the beach, and this is a big beach in Porto del Carmen. It's actually set up in loads of different bays, and they rake it every night. You'll see that in the video, especially in the morning. You don't want to step foot on it because it's like. It just looks too nice. You don't want to mess it up. But yeah, give um, give Lanza Grotty a thumbs up. It ain't bad. I don't know when the last time you was here. It's had a reputation in the past. In fact, is that a... It's not Ryanair, is it? I think it might be. Yeah, Ryanair, look, people coming on their holidays.
Gabby Starbuck, the wife. You just give me a super chat for four pound forty nine. Thanks, darling. <laughs> I know someone who's on that flight, says Gavin. Do you know what? I'm actually sweating. It's so warm. Ryanair right landing from London Gatwick. In fact, that'll be the flight that I'll be on tomorrow night. No, it's not because I'm going EasyJet. I tell you what, it's so much better going EasyJet than Ryanair. It just feels like they're nicer to you. The captain even does the whole speech about, you know, mid-flight, how, we, how we're doing. Like Ryanair don't do that, they'll do a bit at the beginning, but then that's it. Like EasyJet, from when I remember going on holiday with like um, Thomas Cook and all those ones, they'll do like a middle of a middle update of, of how we're getting on and where we are and what you can see out the window. It's quite good. Pontins or lads are right. Pontins every time. Jet 2, ex Jet 2 is way too expensive. Well, let's put it like this. Um, I've just literally been looking at flights because I thought, well, if I stay here an extra couple of days, obviously going into half term, the flights go up. You can get a flight tomorrow to Lanzarote for 50 pounds one way, but next week and the week after, no, in, in, in fact, next week, it goes up to 350 pounds, extortionate. If you've just joined the live, do give the video a thumbs up, does help me out. Jet 2 is good. I do like the service, but you do pay extra, don't you? Mark 1, good evening. Hope you're doing okay. I don't know, you could be jogging in this heat. Far too hot. Hey Gary, hope you're alright. Hail and Pace, Yorkshire Airlines. That is still on YouTube. I do remember seeing that video. That is hilarious. If Once you've watched it live, if you want to see something really funny, you should watch that Hail and Pace. They did um, Yorkshire Airlines where <laughs> you get a brew and all that kind of stuff and the whole proper Yorkshire thing. Um, whilst on board, it's so funny. You get tea cozies over the, um, the, the um, teapots. Yes, Rob, I do miss, I, I see loads of little boys around, it just makes me miss thumps loads. Yeah, it's a bit too warm sunny to be honest, as I'm walking. Matthew, I'm good, thanks, how are you? Exploring with wheels, hope you're good. Have I been to Croatia? No, but I hear it's really nice. Foxy B, if you're here, can you let us know what the, what the old signal's like? In fact, I've met a good few people since I've been here, just filming in Port del Carmen, that have come up and said, hey, I watch your YouTube videos. Uh, one nice gentleman today said, he'll buy me a drink if he spots me later. So I'm keeping my fing <laughs> fingers crossed. I'm only joking, Gabby. Oh, I should be walking on the bike path because people will go crazy. But these scooters are great. I mean, you literally just need your phone and um, you literally just scan it and off you go. David NM, thank you very much for £8.99 Super Chat. Something towards the airline, the airfare. Thanks, David. That does help me out. Of course, warm. Feels like it's getting warmer. It was me that says get a drink. Is the hotel behind you? It was being done up last time I was there. Um, it does, there's a lot of shutters down on the windows, so I don't know if it is. Yes, the lights are on. There are people in those. Where's your dream location, Gavin? Um, Dubai. The beard, the bard, thanks very much. How's the food, Gary? Well, to be honest, I've only been here two days and um, it's the food I had last night was a bit rubbish. In fact, should we go up? There's there's loads of these dotted around Port del Carmen. People love just to, to go up and have a, a lookout. So let's go up. What these were used for, lookouts or whatever. 
Um, Rob, there is um, a water park in Costa de Guise. It's awful though, do not go there. It's really rubbish. Where do you prefer, Fuels Ventura or Lanzarote? Do you know what, I don't know, that's a good question. See, I have no idea what the point of these were. Lookouts, maybe, but you do get a nice view. A bit of a pan around. So literally I'm gonna be walking down there and around. Um, I probably won't go all the way to the hub because there's not really much to see there, but I'll go further up that way. I'm really out of breath. Kevin, you know what? You sell that you, you smell that sewer smell. Um, every place you go to in the Canaries. You will smell drains. Hi Claire, thank you very much for your your super chat, £4.49, much appreciated. Shout out to Tim Bim, been watching your videos, thanks Matt. Hi Tim, it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Siam Park is awesome. If you haven't seen the video that I've done on the channel of Siam Park, it is amazing. I'm really behind with the chat. Um, are you all inclusive or do your own thing? James, I try never to get all inclusive because it's just too expensive. I'm doing my own thing. And obviously because I'm out here to, to shoot videos, it seems just a little bit stupid. Hey Christine, thank you very much. For your little super, super sticker there. You're in the quiet end, Tim, keep walking. Yeah, that's where I'm going, Lee, don't worry. Skegness is looking better. Yeah. Do you know what? I'll be returning to Skegness. We're doing a live from there soon. People watching the sunset and the planes come in. Have I been to Hull Fair? No, I haven't. Uh, if you're enjoying the live stream tonight, do give it a thumbs up. It does help me out. Can I say hello to Janet and Joanne? Big fans. Thanks, Dave. Uh, Tim, go on a scooter while you're doing the video. Lee, I would, but I have to use my phone and I'm streaming from my phone, so that's a bit difficult. But I do do it on the video that's coming up. Interesting. Thanks, David. What's your favourite airline? Emirates. Used to be Virgin Atlantic, but they're not as good as they used to be. Um, can we say hello to the pen Pensta from Australia? Trish, thank you very much for your two pound, uh, two dollar ninety nine super chat. Appreciate that. Rachel from Skeggy. I don't think Rachel watches my videos anymore. If you if you do or do not know, why are we talking about Skegness while we're in Lanzarote? But when I was in Skegness, um, Rachel made herself known to me, and she was following me around. Um, Amethyst Low, two pound forty nine. Thank you very much for your super sticker. I do appreciate them. Um, I really do appreciate your super chats and super stickers. There you go. There's an easy jet plane coming in. Easy jet. Do you know what? It's really embarrassing, but I'm not one of those people that claps when the plane's coming to land. Are you? <laughs> Some people still do it. It's the kind of thing, it depends what, which airline you go on as well. If you go on an Emirates one, or Virgin Atlantic, people don't clap. <laughs> I think they only clap when it's like Ryanair or EasyJet, because they're thankful they're on the ground. Mark, good evening, thanks very much. Hey Jojo, appreciate that. Uh, Tim, you deserve a drink at the end. Thanks Jojo and Martin, appreciate that Jojo. Colour of the sky is lovely, isn't it? My ex-wife is on the EasyJet flight. Amazing how much walking we do when we go abroad compared to home, yep. Why would you clap when an airplane is coming in? Keith, it's just one of those things that some people do. I think this has recovered since lockdown. The flight I was on was full. And bearing in mind it was a Monday, a Monday night flight in October, not the school holidays, and it was full. So, just goes to show that people are coming back to the Canaries. Hi team, you're being a bit weird in the chat. 
love your videos Al, thanks very much, massive fan of Chow, keep up the amazing work, I appreciate that, thank you Daniel. Oh, I thought there was someone running up to me then, massive fan of your channel, thanks very much Georgina. Hello to Sharp. Gabby, do you know, what are you talking about? I mean, you've, you talk about that to me when people just randomly talk about other subjects. Um, Louis, hello from the island of Fjordaventura. I can see Fjordaventura from here, look, it's just over there. Just over the Atlantic Ocean. Hope it's not too windy. There's a bit more wind tonight than there has been over the last two nights, anyway. Phil, can we swap locations? Where are you, Phil? Tell me where you are. Hey, good evening, John. What's passport control like in the Canaries with the extra COVID paperwork? Um, Katie, there is none. <laughs> Please say hello to Kieran Northcott. Just have. I team, that's fine. Um, wow. Um, Adelphi Freya, £10. Super chat. Wow, that means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tim, for your videos. I'm bedridden with a chronic illness and it's lovely to be able to take my mind off it oh well i hope you're getting a little bit of relief i'd <laughs> i'd like to think my videos help but yeah if it takes your mind off it i hope you um start feeling a little bit better or have better days soon there's a cat crossing the road there's always stray cats in the canary isn't there Um, Rosalind, thanks very much for your two pounds super chat. Thanks, Rosalind. Good evening, David. No, I do have a cat. Is food and drink expensive in Lanzarote? Bex, well, this is what I'll come to. It depends where you go because most places on the front and up here are very cheap. But as you go around towards the harbour, they can get very expensive. Port Ventura, Zoe, yeah, we've, me and Gabby actually have visited Port Ventura years ago. Um, Louis says, Landro is very nice, but, but I don't find the beaches as stunning. They're not going to be as stunning as Port Ventura, although there are some really nice beaches. And if you like that kind of thing, there's also a pure black beach you can go to. It just burns your feet. Phil, current temperature 25. Michael, thanks very much for your super chat. I look forward to your Christmas videos. Amanda, we're, we're, we're just getting a little bit of summer back. But yeah, Christmas videos are on the way soon. Um, Walker's Walks with Laura and Steve. Hey, we love the channel. Have a fabulous time. It looks better there than here right now, wherever you are. That's um, Laurella, Steve and Ross. How many thumbs up have we got? If we can get to a thousand thumbs up, that'd be crazy, but I'd be happy with 500. So if you can hit that thumbs up before the end of the stream, that'd be good. Steve Cross, I appreciate your super chat of £8.99. Thanks very much. That is very kind of you. I'm not really looking where I'm going. I'm gonna trip up in a minute. Thanks Foxy B updating us. No, it's going dark a little bit. I find this part of the beach very odd. It's like there, there should be a tide, but there isn't. Because the beach is massive here. Um, what have I done today? So today I went in a um, an extinct volcano's lava tube. <laughs> I know, Gabby, very kind. Have you ever been to Florida? Nicole, no, I've never been to Florida. Uh, do you prefer lands or Gran Canaria? Gran Canaria. Every time. The average cost of a pint is one euro fifty. Well, that's what I've seen anyway. Uh, 340 thumbs. 500 is double. When we mean thumbs, we actually mean hit the thumbs rather than just give a thumb emoji. But yeah, do give the video a chance, even if you're not big fans, because, you know, if... If, if you're interested in traveling and uh, getting somewhere cheap, bit of winter sun, you know, 
Lanzarote, well all the Canary Islands, but we're in Chiriu, Tenerife, they're all worth a visit. Temperature's still warm. I'm gonna repeat myself a lot, I think. 25 degrees right now. Can I say hello to my wife, Sharon? She thinks you're great. Don't you then, Gary? Thanks. Out with the butler. <laughs> Love the name. Um, have you done La Grosso? Uh, it's five minutes on boat. No, but I saw it today from the um, northwest part of the island. Thank you, Frosty Gaming. <laughs> Look at that sunset, though. It looks gorgeous. Just face the camera up a bit. Can you say hello to my wife, Sharon? I think I've already just done that, Gary. Loving your videos. Thanks very much, Lee. The best thing about these bikes, right, is all you need to do is you go on Google Maps and you put in where you want to go and then you click the little bike emoji and it will tell you where your nearest scooter is, how much battery it's got left in it. It's uh, Honestly, they've been indis indispensable for me on this trip. I guess two people on an island. They're everywhere. So I'm a little bit behind on the chat. If you think it's quiet, this is a, a quieter area. It's going to get very busy. Say hello to Corinne for me. Olivia, Oliver Wild. Love the videos. Me and my partner love Lanzarote. The thing that I like about Lanzarote is if you've got car hire, which I must stress that, you know, if you want to explore the island, it is worth getting car hire. Because if you come here and you pay money to do excursions, think about how much all that adds up. Right? And if you've got car hire, a lot of these excursions they'll sell you don't cost you as much as you think. So for example, I went to a famous lookout today and then I went into these um, extinct lava tubes and I think all in all it cost me 15 euros. Now if you add on petrol, that'd be funny, I don't know, 20 euros? Now if you booked that at one of these excursion places down here, that would cost you probably what, 50 euros or something like that. So getting a car is worth it, you get to see more of the island. Out with the butler, oh it's your YouTube name, okay. Hey Lee, am I getting a lot of repeated messages or is there spam? Do the canaries still have problems with those big cockroaches? They ruined my honeymoon in 1988 in Las Palmas and our apartment was infested. Unfortunately, you will always get cockroaches in the canaries. Um, the worst place I ever experienced cockroaches were, were in Gran Canaria and it was my first trip there. <clears throat> I stayed in a place called Maspalomas. I stayed in a bungalow. If you don't like cockroaches, do not come and stay in a bungalow in the Canaries because eight times out of 10, you could get a cockroach. Or if you're really unlucky, a, cockro a cockroach nest. Gabby will tell you when she lived in Gran Canaria, she worked in Gran Canaria for a little while, she had one or her flatmate had one in their um, cupboard or their wardrobe. <laughs> oh, don't. When I turned up to Gran Canaria and Maspalomas, and they were behind the pictures, they were behind the cushions, and you could tell they've got a problem because people were shoving um, bits of tissues in random cracks and, and holes in the wall. I was like, this is weird. And so, and the worst thing is, is these were flying ones as well. Ugh. Matt, don't you get bored on your own? It can be lonely, especially when Gabby don't answer the phone. But this is another reason why I do the lives. Red or green mojo sauce? Red. Trish, I've left a message. Okay, thanks. Does Brexit affect things for you car hire? I'm Irish, I haven't expected any problems. No, I've not experienced any problems because of Brexit. In fact, the only problem that you might have is when you're going through passport control, you now have to go through a slower route than the, uh, the machines that scan your code for some reason, because obviously, well, I've still got European <coughs> passport, but the new British ones, you then have to go and get it stamped. So that's the only downside, I would say. 
Um, hi Tim, would you say hello to my wife? And Harrod George. But yeah, I haven't seen any, thanks Foxy B. 95 thumbs till we hit 500, that's amazing. Come on, let's get to 500 and then we can talk about 1,000. Well, that's been, been a bit crazy. If you have just joined us on, a, on this live, local time in Lazaroy, 20 to 8, temperature of 25 degrees. I've got a sweat on because I'm walking quite quickly. Uh, almost 700 people watching. I appreciate coming along. Can you fly a drone out here, Trev? Um, you can. There are rules and regulations, obviously, to drone flight and stuff like that. Um, I'll be using stock footage for my drone flights, to be honest, because I can't bother with the hassle. <laughs> Amanda, thank you very much. I appreciate hearing that. Um, you're welcome, Philip. Have I passed that really steep, steep hill yet? Um, you need to tell me a little bit more what you mean, Laura. Dino Essex, hi Tim, you should uh, let some of your YouTubers join you on these abroad videos. We'd have some fun for sure. Yeah, if I can find any, they'd want to come out. Uh, Andrew, how's Gabby feeling, the wife? She's been suffering with a bit of, uh, bit of cold. Cruise with Steve, seriously, I have been walking loads. Yes, I don't know what my count is. Amazing sky there. I can say hello to my cousin David, who's watching live. Would recommend it as Christmas destination. Naturally, the best thing about the Canary Islands, even if you come in the winter, it is like being in the UK in summer. You might need a cardigan at night, but not really. Look at that. In fact, look at that. That almost reminds me of being in uh, Los Angeles a little bit with those long... I don't know what the specific name of those palm trees are called, but you know, the really long ones, you see them in Beverly Hills. In fact, you should screenshot that, that's great. Uh, the Crackmaster, you're here in Lanzarote. Send me a WhatsApp, dude, if you haven't already. Um, I, I was going to say to you, actually, I was going to, it's going to, it's going to take a while to come over, but yeah, I was hoping that uh, I'd come back to Tenerife in November, but it's probably not going to happen now. How is it in Spain? Just been to London. It's very warm. <laughs> it's the best thing you've eaten since you've been out here. Some nuts I had at the bar. <laughs> Seriously, I haven't really yet. I know it sounds stupid, I haven't really yet much food. And when you're on your own, you don't want to normally go out to dinner on your own because it's a little bit lonesome when you always have to ask for that one chair. It's going to get busy. We'll see a lot more restaurants in a minute. They've even got a casino, which I noticed. If Gabby's watching, don't worry, I'm not going to go in there. Crackmaster, yeah, I'm here tomorrow until um, my flight goes... At six, so I'll probably, I've got to return the car about three, so yeah, I could always meet you in the morning. Feature on the vlog, that'd be good. Thank you, darling, Gabby. Casper says goodnight, Daddy. Oh, bless his little heart. Cool, Gabby, you're cheap. <laughs> this is such a big space in Port Carmen. and this morning um, they were doing like some yoga in there, and this area through here, another big. Uh, it's almost like an event space. But they were doing a live stream of some, uh, some workouts. And I don't know what YouTube channel it is, I should have asked, but I was too busy flying through here on the scooter, which you shouldn't do. Uh, Crackmaster, I'll obviously contact you after the live. Oh, people saying goodnight, Casper, how cute. Uh, Trish, have done a super chat, wanted to do £10, but only let me do 2 99 I'll try again. Is the mouse trap still on? What? Trish, I don't know why I did that. I do love it when people say it looks so clean because I spoke to a local today 
who was actually moaning about the fact that Lanzarote is not as clean as it once was. We're going to get to a very posh hotel in a little bit. Hey Levy, how you doing? <laughs> um, how do you send super chats, Andrew? Well, if you want to support the channel, I would appreciate it. Obviously, it's entirely up to you. Don't feel forced that you have to. But there's a little dollar sign in a square box. I think it's on the left of where your chat is. Kieran, will I go back to Hemsby? I haven't done that for a while. Um, Matt says, I love the behind the scenes video. Lois up here was an interesting video. Yeah, that was a good video. It's a shame more people didn't watch that actually. Hey, uh, Romford Creative calling it Lanza Grotti. When my video comes out next week, you will be surprised. Yes, obviously it's a volcanic island and compared to most of the other Canary Islands, Lanzarote has um, been scarred the most. But what's crazy about it is there's a restaurant where you can go and order food and have it cooked from the earth. And I put my hand over it, the heat was intense. It's the same place where that guy pours water down one of these little hole things and then it shoots out. If you've ever seen any video on Lanzarote, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. Uh, hello Lucy, thanks for joining us on the stream. Come and say hello on the chat, don't be scared. Um, if I do miss any Super Chats mods, if you can just let me know, because once again, this um, the app that I'm using isn't that great at showing it sometimes. There is a big place up here that I know that everyone's going to stare at me. Um, where was I filming? Yeah, that was it. I went to one of the best beaches on the island yesterday, and as I went down onto the beach, literally everybody almost like stopped talking and was just staring at me. Yeah, I'm just done I don't know why. My camera's so tiny. There you go. Do you um, get or have you had many awkward looks live streaming in public? James, all the time. Look at the colour of the sky. I was actually gutted because when I first got here it was cloudy. I've been up the volcano and eaten from that restaurant. It's an expensive experience it is but it's a unique experience at the same time what's a good traditional lanzarote dish i actually don't know i think the closest thing i could say to you is canary and potatoes <laughs> i'm sure there is uh, what happened with the whoops super chat on a live couple of weeks ago s wait they got their money back thankfully the difference between here and Chroma. I know. Um, Barry, thank you very much for your super chat. Well deserved and a well earned drink afterwards. Thanks very much, buddy. <laughs> Is there a minimum age for scooters? I think you've got to be over 18, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. They're basically toys for, cat for adults, really. I think you do have to be over the age of 18. And the. Uh, the Guardian Seville will stop you. There's the police obviously here. Um, yes, Shane, Papagayo Beach was where I went. Natalie, at the risk of sounding woke, is it easy to get vegan food there? Um, I don't know because I haven't asked. But if Gabby was with me, we'd probably be able to tell you. Oh, Foxy B, what am I going to do without you? H-Man is in the house. Uh, hello to Lisa, David NM, can you take over responsibility? That'd be great. La Costa Hotel. We're coming up to uh, a fairly busy area now. Will you try La Palma Island in the future? There isn't too much to see on there though, but yeah, I could do. I have been thinking about it. Of course, just the north of Tenere, um, of Lanzarote, you've got what is considered as the eighth Canary Island, which I can't pronounce, which does look really nice. David NM, could you update this with the signal? Because I just saw someone say the signal's not good, and it has been good. 
see. You won't see any kids on them. Uh, odds and wind socks. Good evening. I've also got to try and find somewhere to eat tonight. I don't really know what I fancy. Obviously, eating on your own is never fun. I've got to get out of the way. Uh, John, no, I didn't. Jack likes Gibraltar. Signal says it's good. Is the signal all right? Somebody said it's not. Remember, that could be your own uh, your own phone. Just had a quick buffer. Ooh. Don't like a quick buffer. Uh, good evening, other giraffe. Annie Acorn. Um, these city days, what's next worst after Pontins and Britannia? Good question. I haven't done a worst rated hotel for a while. I do plan to return. I don't know what it is about the Canaries and Adventure Golf. It's just everywhere. And they always have those. That's the other thing. When you come to Lands Roy, anyone else who's been here, you'll know. Everything is uh, white and green. They love the colour scheme of green and white. It always does remind me of the, uh, of the island of Lanzarote. Is it something in um, government? I don't know. Uh, Paula says we were just here before lockdown and they were just doing this road. I think Lanzarote is very clean and tidy. I don't think it deserves the name Lanzagrotti. Although I do prefer Tenerife. <laughs> I love that we just put that in the end. Although I do prefer Tenerife. Look at the sky now, it looks gorgeous. I think we had a better sunset last night. There's no clouds in the sky at all. Um, Peter, thanks. Will you ever go to Leicester? I've been to Leicester loads. I absolutely love your worst rated vlogs. It blows my mind that places like that are still owned and to remain open. You see, I was worried that um, people are gonna get bored of the worst rated. I am trying to do a few best rated, but whew, it's expensive. I can hear a plane. Can you imagine buying these? in the UK in pots compared to buying them in the Canaries. They probably cost thousands of pounds. So we're just in a little quiet area before the restaurants really do ramp up. Do you know, it took me about 15 minutes on a scooter down here. Probably taking me an hour back. What Canary Island is the best for a 10 year old? Any Canary Island is good. If they love beaches, each Canary Island's got a water park apart from La Palma and La Gorma. Uh, that was crazy. Yeah, can we just address that just very quickly? I know we're in Lanzarote, but if you haven't seen the video that I did in Wales' Most Haunted Castle, and there is big debate, although I would say 90% of people do say that I did capture a ghost. Um, I pinned a comment at the top. Um, so when you do watch the video, look down to the comments, you'll see what I mean. There's a timestamp and see for yourself. When somebody pointed that first out to me, it freaked me out. Hello to Connie Black. Love watching videos. Definitely recommend Top Gun Breakfast on the Strip. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you. Good idea. Uh, Playa Blanca and Costa de Guise. I went to Costa de Guise today. I wasn't overly impressed. I actually prefer Porta um, del Carmen because it's got loads of little beaches. It's not really just all around a, a port. I remember when I first came to the Canaries with an ex, the first thing she said was, wow, they have spas here. But let's be honest, the spas that they have in the Canaries are so much better than the ones we have at home. Look, there is a restaurant up there called Spoons. I wonder where they got that idea from. James, thank you very much for your five pound super chat. Appreciate that. Could you update us with how many thumbs up? Because I can't see on my phone. It doesn't tell me. That's what I'd love in Indian. Stay away from these electric shops, electronic shops. 
I remember when I first came to the Canaries, I wanted to buy um, a video camera, and I remember the rep saying, whatever you do, don't buy, you'll get ripped off, and then they won't work days after you buy them. And what did I do? I saw a camera, this was back in the day when you had a digital camera, and I was like, wow, that is so cheap. Bought it, bought it home, stopped working after two weeks. See these reps, do you know what they're talking about? We've only got 498, 400 thumbs up. So just hit the thumbs up if you haven't, it does help me out. Belvedere, you you're still talking about this ghost, aren't you, man? You need to let it go. I love this, Mr. My Batty. Where is Fit Gabs? Fit Gabs, my wife is at home. <laughs> so much choice though when you come out, that's the thing, you know. It's just a bit of a minefield, like, where do we go? I do fancy an Indian. That looks nice. Have they got prices in the window? Wow, that they're, wow, they're really selling Lanzarote. Not timeshare. Oh yeah, they do have. There you go. With a pool, 749,000 euros. Whew. Or maybe a bigger pool for 1,290,000 euros. I actually prefer something like that, that's quite nice. Nice and small. I can imagine being in the hot tub there and just lounging in that chair. Only 334,000. <laughs> if you can afford it. Oh yeah, there's another top tip. Um, don't book a hire car when you arrive. Book it before you come. You'll get it so much cheaper. Um, Charlotte, thanks very much. Do give the video a thumbs up if you have just joined us. We're in um, Porto del Carmen in Lanzarote tonight. Those temperature things are always wrong. I just said it was 23. My phone says it's 25. And what's quite funny, if you're um, on the street and you'll see a few of them, they'll all read different temperatures. But what is the fascination with them in Spain? They always have to show the temperature. I don't get it. It's a status thing, right? Can you imagine doing that in the UK? Who would care? <laughs> All we just see is, that's cold. That's cold. I've actually lost my bearings. Oh, I know where I am. Oh, romantic lights in that bar. RNR TV, evening Tim, nice quiet in again. You should really get out more. Uh, Gabby's at home at the minute. Car say 30. Um, I booked a car hire for three days. When you think it's four days for 50 euros. That's with insurance. Matty, indeed. Ah, oh, there's a Mexican here. So there are some parts of Lanzarote that still need a little bit of an update, but they have uh, tried hard. The only um, criticism I'd have are these cycle lanes, right? They look great here, but further up there, and you're on one of these scooters, they don't have suspension, so you're really feeling every single judder, and it's actually really uncomfortable. 795 people watching. How many thumbs up have we got? We need to get to a thousand thumbs up for a live stream, that'd be amazing. Lanzarote deserves it. What time did I wake up this morning? I was up at half past eight. Did you know what? It's um, sunrise here is, I think, just about eight o'clock. So it wasn't very light, but it was um, beautiful, clear sky. The sun hadn't risen. It was really nice. <laughs> Something for the mature... What? So I'm a little bit behind in the chat. I flew back from Lanzarote last night. Well, you're here now, look. When is the Lanzarote tour video? Jack likes to bother. That will be next week. Don't get confused, basically, that um, the, the Fuel to Venture video will be coming up on Friday. That's obviously only just because I'm here filming it now. I was going to do Fuel to Venture Live last week, but 
I wasn't feeling great. And no, it was not alcohol related. Ever since I've been a kid, I've always wanted to live, or maybe part of the year, in little, a little house like that, just right by the beach. It's always fascinated me, especially in the Canaries. Uh, how many people are talking English? Gemstones. There's loads of English people in the Canaries. English-speaking um, waiters and waitresses. Obviously, every so often you'll come across a Spanish that you, you can't understand what you're saying. Oh, I just did see that Spanish bar beginning with a bee pooler. Um, we were out there on the 27th of September for a day travel from taxi from uh, Acriff Airport. How do you say that? I always say that wrong. Wow, you were on Anthem of the Seas. I saw a really good deal to do a Canary tour, but Gabby couldn't come. That's an amazing cruise ship, isn't it? Thanks, David NM. There's another flight coming in. This is like a, um, like a fashion mall that has very posh restaurants upstairs and posh shopping downstairs. But can you see if I just zoom in? Hang on. The chandeliers up there. Loads. I've never seen that. Koala Bay? Never seen that brand before. Um, are you going to do a cruise vid? Gavin? I would love to. I'm thinking about it. It's just um, they're really expensive, obviously. Well, they're not all expensive, but there's one particular ship I'd want to go on, and I saw an amazing deal. Gavin would kill me if I did it on my own, but I'm saying, you know, I've got to do it for the video. Tracy, 782. What do you mean? People watching or thumbs up? I'd love to do a Canarian cruise, actually. You'd probably feel really odd to do that, to be able to go from one island to the next, to the next, to the next, to get a good old bit of definition between them all. Cocktail, anyone? Do you know what? I used to be one of these people that would be looking at webcams when I come back from holiday. Um, just trying to reminisce being there again. Victor, I'm just here till tomorrow. I've been here for two days. The video's coming up all about it. I'm already Load of Joe, yeah, that's um, the Grosica Island. I think that's how you say it. That does it good. They have a casino. Grand Casino, Lanzarote. Oh, I can see, is that an Indian down there? I think so. Oh no, we're not gonna get copyrighted, are we? Someone's singing. This never looks very busy. I've walked past here the last couple of nights and um, it doesn't look like there's anything going on, but there's always people cooking food and stuff like that. There's music going on, so we're gonna have to keep talking, otherwise YouTube won't like it, and I'll say stop. Uh, the cruise cost 1,650 for 12 nights. I'll take it that's all inclusive though, right? Uh, see you later, James. Hope the signal's still all right. Um, are you going to do a meet and greet? I don't think anyone would turn up. How many thumbs up have we got? Philip says we've got 369 thumbs up. I'm confused. I'm sure we had over 500, did we not? Mark says I've got 603 thumbs up. I'm so confused. Mods, please tell me. Um, I went to that casino. See, look, they are, they are actually doing some of the bike path up because it looks really bad, so they're actually just digging it up at the minute. Yeah, it doesn't look very nice right here. 
Um, Woolen Woozy, thanks very much. Hello to Chuckle Fan. Um, 680, have we really got 618 thumbs up? 622, amazing. Hit that thumbs up, it'd be great to get a thousand in a live. Jem says no sound. Turn your sound on, Jem. Well, you won't hear me say that, so that's a bit stupid. So they've got a big um, festival or fiesta coming here in the next few days, and they've got loads of uh, outside little tents, which you'll see up here in a minute. I keep getting the same messages repeated. I don't know if that's me or... Uh, thank you, Ollie. Have you ever done a ski holiday? James, no. The closest thing I'm going to do to a ski holiday will be coming up in, uh, in December, though. Why is it other people... I think some people's thumbs don't update. <laughs> update. Why do you want about the thumbs up? It just shows that YouTube, that you're liking the video, it pushes out more to my subscribers. Now, I've been going to... Uh, which is something I don't normally do because I like to change it up. But I've been going there for breakfast over the last couple of days. Four, pa uh, four euros fifty for a, um, an English breakfast. It's actually very nice. Let's just cross over the road. Hey Tim, where's your holy grail? As in the ultimate walk video you love to do. Um... <laughs> It'd be a bit boring, but the Grand Canyon, I guess. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? But you wouldn't get a signal there. There you go, look. Getting ready for Christmas. Gabby would look good in that. I took a video of this this morning. It looks really good with all the palm trees. In fact, it's the thumbnail. If you've just clicked on the thumbnail and you've wondered why it's dark, we did start off in the light. Can I give a big hello to Julie? Me Julie. I went to Lanzarote when I was younger with a family uh, and saw the Lion King live. Where? So the um, fiesta that's coming up starts in a few days there's something about it here see look these scooters are everywhere have I been to the deep aquarium in Hull no uh, Gavin are you having Christmas off and I don't stop are you going live on Christmas Eve again Jem wow you remember Christmas Eve that's if Gabby lets me how many thumbs up have we got now? Because I don't think it'll happen, but it would be good if we could get to a thousand. It's the beach over there. So yeah, this is all going to get lit up for their fiesta that they're doing. It's probably just going to be quite dark around here, so hang on. Um, Alfie, um, hi Tim, my parents and I love going to Lanzarote, but I'm not so keen. They can't get enough of it. They're looking to book the next one in a few days for half term. Wow, I bet you that'll be expensive. I love Menorca. Have you ever been? Yes, I went to a wedding with Gabby in Menorca. We went in the winter and I was like, we went in December and I was like, oh, this is going to be really good. Get a little bit of winter sun. Unfortunately, it rained. I've never known that amount of rain anywhere ever for three days straight. It did not stop raining and it was windy. I mean, like the kind of torrential rain, no let up. So that was the, uh, I have been when I was a younger, uh, younger boy though. Hello from a rainy Cyprus. Hello to Alison. Uh, hello to Nick and Lucy in Worcester. We love your Centre Parks video. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, Luke, thanks very much. Hi team, you should send Gabby to Pontins or Britannia for a video to get her reaction. She's coming with me on a video to a haunted, um, a haunted hotel, so I will get her reaction for that because I didn't want to stay there on my own. It's going to be our seven hour drive though. Uh, Lola, I bought a villa in Lanzarote back in the 80s in Playa Blanca. Have you still got it? I bet that's worth a lot of money. It's getting a bit windy up here now. 
I've been live an hour. Shame what is my favorite Canary Island, without doubt, Grand Canaria. Can you tell my girlfriend, April, that I love her? April? I don't really know the name. Catch Key loves you. Watch out for the bus. Right, hang on, I'm just gonna cross over the road. Okay. Let's go watch out for music, that's anything. Uh, Luke says, Nikki's introduced me to your channel. Thanks, Nikki, whoever you are. How many drinks are there in a typical bar? Or how much are they? I'd say a pint is one US 50, glass of wine, I think I saw for about one Euro 20. There's a Mexican here though, that looks pretty busy. More pints, yeah? Pretty cool actually. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> You're just asking if people stare. Oh, well, there we go, we just had a starey person. And what some people like to do sometimes is not just stare, they will deliberately walk into you. Some Asian cuisine, maybe? Oh, have you? Well, you heard it there first. Or second. Uh, Ryan, yes, we'd love to do a video from Cyprus. Um, Bex, I don't want to disappoint you, but the Halloween vlogs I've already done because I wanted them to come up before Halloween rather than put them up at Halloween and then no one is really interested. Because I did that mistake last year. I put a, a vlog up at Halloween. It got the views for Halloween and then no one was interested. Because if you remember last year, people went crazy because of everything that happened from COVID. Um, as soon as Halloween finished, people picked up their Christmas decorations, weren't they? 700 thumbs up. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. And remember, it doesn't cost you anything to hit that thumbs up. What's going on down here? There's music. There's a, oh wow, there's like an actual beach bar. I've got to keep talking though because I'll be demonetized otherwise. Wow, that's nice, like that. Yeah, as I said, the restaurants now start to get a little bit more expensive. Things seem to go a little bit, dare I say it, posher. So if you want to see how I got to Tenerife and the, ten uh, sorry, how I got to Lanzarote and the Lanzarote video, that'll be up next week. But this coming Friday will be the video tour that I did in Fuerteventura last week. Sorry to confuse you. Ruta 66, not Root, Ruta. Fund Grube. I do like that shop. I'm trying to, the closest thing, what, is it like a Deb, I guess the Spanish version of a Debenhams, kind of posh? Well, I wouldn't say Debenhams, well, I used to think Debenhams was posh. Glass of wine is usually three euros, you're probably about right. The last video of a new airport, uh, you can see a woman staring at you whilst you were sitting down and having your coffee. Yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> you just have to kind of, uh, like when I do the lives, I'm just focused on the chat room. Wow, how busy is it up here? The people in that um, that Buffalo restaurant, that is jam packed. Yeah, so I just quickly was talking about how nice the beach is here. When you think about staying in the port, you think to yourself, oh, I don't know if I want that, but the, the different bay beaches that they've got here, always combed as well. That's the proper term, combing the beach every night. Uh, Ryan, how many times have I been abroad this year? Do you know what? I actually said to Gabby the other day, it's been a record um, year for going abroad. The buffalo is always packed, is it? This is posh. 
Asian Atlantico. You see, when you're trying... Now, this is something I need to address just quickly as well, because I often get people um, ask me about travelling alone, what it's like, any tips. And the only thing I'd say is do it. I mean, yes, when you're going out to eat of an evening, it can get a little bit like your Billy No Mates. But at the same time, without sounding rude to Gabby, when you're on your own, you've got no one telling you you've got to be here or there and you don't have to wait for someone else and you can just get up in the morning, just go. I find it really liberating the fact that like when I came back in this evening from filming, I think it was six o'clock, I went for a quick swim in the pool and then had a shower and then was out within, I oh know I'm a bloke, but within um, 15 minutes. I know, I've got short hair, what can I say? The sand is imported from the Sahara. Most of uh, Lanzarote is like that. Apart from down the south of the island, David NM, thanks for sticking with us as well. We've been live for an hour now, if you have just tuned in. You'll be able to see my tour from Lanzarote coming up next week and how I got here. And this time, the, the, the travel video, I, I decide to try um, an airport lounge because people do rave about them. Is it worth the money? Well, you'll see my review on that and I didn't think it was worth it. I don't want to spoil it, but it was a bit naff. Although there was a machine that makes pancakes automated. And I thought that was pretty special. I'd go back again for that. Smell of barbecue food wafting in the air. No one's off the beach now. Uh, any plans to visit Turkey? Gabby wants to visit Turkey, yeah. Is Siam Park any good? As I think of trying that park out. Music Man, it is amazing. Just watch out, it's very busy. Hope the YouTube algorithm doesn't pick up that music. How many thumbs have we got up now? Someone said about um, having kids on these. Obviously, if the adult goes with them and the kids are on the back, but I think the Guardia Seville would stop you. What is the post live plan, Tim, RNR TV? Well, I think, um, sad as it sounds, I'm not really gonna party. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get some food and then probably head back because um, when you're filming all day and traveling around the island, rushing around everywhere to get these I'm only here for two days, it gets pretty exhausted. I sound like an old man, don't I? I know I should be, um, Heading into the Sunset Beach for cocktails. To be honest, I, I, did, I, I think I might have an Indian tonight. I'm not that hungry though, just yet. So I'm a little bit late on the chat. How many thumbs up we got? Can we get to 800? That'd be good. Uh, Lewis, you're late. What time do you call this? Do you use cash? No, I just use completely card now. It's so much easier. You don't need to... Do you know, I still see people changing up their little money and have it in envelopes. And I know that some people still like to do that, but literally everything is cardless. You know, you don't have to worry then about losing money if you bring some money back or having to spend money for the sake of it. But everywhere takes card. The only place it doesn't is if you want a camel ride um, in Timavai National Park, they only take cash. Um, Rachel, can you give a, sh a shout out to my son Alfie, who loves watching the videos? Thanks, Alfie. Amanda, Gabby looks like my friend who's Italian. What made you start the channel, Go to Treasure? Um, lockdown, to be honest. I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel, but I couldn't really find. Uh, me and Gabby did a, a vlog channel which um, tanks, YouTube is hard to get views when you're first starting out. Well, it's, it's never easy, but um, you just have to keep going. Thank you, Craig. Nice they have a side of the road for those scooters. Yes, it is nice. So I think we're just going up. Yeah, we don't wanna to go too far up there. I'll end this on the beach. Hello. 
Luke, thanks very much for your £2 super chat. Covid entry requirements, there is none, not anymore. No masks are required. Do people still wear masks? Yes. I'm thinking of going to Tenerife, but I don't know. If, like, even in the winter, you know, in the peak of the day, you can get very warm temperatures up to around about, uh, even in the winter, about 25, 26 degrees. Well, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm absolutely exhausted walking. I don't know how many miles that actually is, but uh, I appreciate you staying with me for the last hour and 10 minutes. If you're watching this on replay, yes, it's best to watch these live, but if you are watching on replay, would love a thumbs up, hit, hit a, uh, drop a comment below. Don't forget, you can see the video um, for Fuel to Ventura. You have to explore this island with me. That's coming up on Friday. And of course, next week it will be uh, Lanzarote. Have a lovely evening, whatever you're up to. I'm gonna go and get some food. I will leave you with the view, not that you can really see it, but of the beach. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching.